Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Onan Bogmi, the last remaining descendant of the Bogmi family. Some of you might know me as Onan Orkshorn, but I will talk about that in just a second. First and foremost, I want to talk a little bit about my past and how I grew up. I grew up always moving from town to town, only ever really staying in one place for two weeks. This was because my parents were traveling merchants. We sold little trinkets and other things that we found along the way to each town. We also tried making our own trinkets, but they never really took off. And being the only child, I had to help out as much as I could with the family's business, helping move things around and even selling some things. It was quite fun though. My small little family got to travel around the map, witnessing different types of people and cultures. I used to enjoy eating all the different kinds of foods with my mother very much, or checking out all the latest inventions and mechanisms with my father. I mean, I was, in my opinion, living the best life I could ever ask for. But one town stood out from the rest, and not necessarily in a good way. You see, one day, when we arrived at this town, we decided to set up shop, as we usually do. We saw a younger group of people coming up to the shop, and we were excited. Excited to see that people in this town actually would want to buy some of our stuff this quickly. But that excitement didn't last long. You see, these people saw our prices and didn't like them. So they started heckling on my father, telling him to half the prices of some of our most valuable stuff. But my father said no, and they still persisted. And still, he said no. So who looked to be the leader of this group turned to his friends and back at my father and said, fine, have it your way, criminal. My father was confused, but before he could say something back, the group started beating up my father. My mother got up to see what was happening. She got halfway out the door before she turned to me to say just one last word that has stuck with me all this time. Run. And boy did I run. I ran for days. Never looking back. I was too scared to ever look back. Or even try to go back. I never saw my parents after that day. And ever since then, I have wondered whether or not I should have ran. Should I have stayed to help my family? And save them from this death that they just decided to accept? I did not know at the time, but... Other races weren't happy at my folk, the Dracorians. But after days of running, I made it to this nice little meadow with a nice little cottage. I saw that it had a little shed near the back of the cottage. And since I was so tired, I decided to hunker down there for the night. Apparently I had made some loud noises as I was trying to sneak into the shed. And when the lady came out, she surprised me. She gave me wonderful hospitality, offering meals and a nice bed to rest on. I did not know why, but she was just so kind, so loving, for no reason. And in this cottage with this lady is where I spent many, many years after almost into my young adulthood. But one thing stayed the same. I always had a grudge and wanted revenge for my parents. But when I was younger, I was always too scared to actually act. The lady though was getting worried, worried that I was missing out on so many things staying cooped up with her. 
So she asked me if I would be okay being put up for adoption. Saying that even if I don't need the person to talk to, that it's just good to have a parental figure in my life. And after some convincing, I obliged and just waited. And eventually someone came. That man being Johan. Johan Orkshorn. Which is where I got the last name Orkshorn. But see, I don't want to be a part of this family. I want to defend my family and be a part of my old family. The family that I lost and the family that loved me. And I thank that lady in the cottage, truly. Because now I have the courage and confidence to fight back. I tried looking for this town once during a fake business trip I went on to help out with Joheim's new business. But I just miss my old life. Joheim keeps trying to make me follow after what he does and what he wants to do. He keeps trying to train me to be his predecessor, to take over his library, and to take over the town of Drax, but I don't want to. I could care less about the people of Drax, let alone bettering the town. I want to enact revenge on the town that killed my family. And I feel that the only way to do that is to take out Joheim. If I could become the mayor of Drax, and I could use its people to fight against his town and kill all of them. I don't care about the town itself. Pfft, no. All I want is to take down the town. And I don't want to have to wait for Johan to die or for him to stop caring about Drax. So, I'm going to kill him. Nothing can stand in my way. Nothing. So I will leave you with these two things. One, I am in need of dragon scales. If anyone has some, name a price and I will buy it. Number two, whoever sees this, and you are from that forsaken town, know that I am coming and you won't have the chance to run.